it is somebody else who's going through what you go through that help you to gain that strength they help you to see that it is possible to overcome right and to walk into it walking up as a as a woman of god and walk in holiness and walk in you know abstinence and walk you know in in security and walk in um you know in um in your full worth and value right and love yourself and so that if that sounds like you then please continue to join us take a seat and, you know sit back and allow the lord to minister to you and also for all my um ogs all my loyal listeners that's been rocking from day one my a1s from day one what's up hey girl hey how y'all doing out there holler at your girl you guys are silent you guys always can email me and communicate just say hey just let me know how the podcast has blessed you you know if you have a prayer request please feel free to email me um as well even for my new listeners i'm here you know to walk alongside you guys and i'll be great it'd be an honor to pray with you and for you and so um i am definitely accessible and you guys are able to reach out to me via email or even on this platform here in Podbean. you are able to leave a comment i do get and receive and respond to comments as well as i think on spotify you're able to do some commenting over there as well and so without further ado we're going to get into the message and i want to say hey to my bros i don't want to leave y'all out i know sometimes i have my brothers in the audience so what's up how you doing i pray the lord will just use me if the lord has something that he wants for you to receive receive it man of god just trust and believe god is not interested only in his daughters however i am a woman called to women but god has used me to speak and minister to his sons as well so be encouraged keep going you know keep allowing the lord to just to build you up for whatever the purpose and plan he has for your life and if he'll do that through me at points of time let it be so so you guys can also feel free to come into the room to listen to listen to the replay i welcome even my brothers here okay because we are one family we are family here family first we are one body many members amen and so it i i just love all of my brothers and sisters in christ with the love of god and so um as I was praying and I was seeking the Lord on like, I'm like, Lord, what is, what am I going to call to this week's episode? Because this week has been just kind of moving a little fast. It's been a lot, you know, going on. And I really didn't get a chance earlier in the week, like I wanted to, to really sit down and think about the podcast. So I just quickly sat with the Lord and I heard him say the promise still stands. And I know for me, that was like something that really resonated because there are some things that I have in the past been really strong in believing for that I was really steadfast in believing for that I was praying for you know that I was you know just constantly you know being thankful for it and just standing in a place of belief that over time you know I've just gotten to a place where I've secretly given up and so I don't know if that's anybody on here if you guys have something that maybe you feel like time it's been a long time maybe it's been 5 10 15 20 years or maybe you feel like it's just been a long time you know the lord gave you this word he gave you this promise and you did everything you feel like you did everything that the lord has instructed you to do but you still haven't seen it you know maybe it feel like it's crickets maybe the lord promised you something but the more you have been praying the more you have been believing things just seem polar opposite and it's crickets over there you ain't seeing no movement ain't nothing looking like it's doing nothing it's just like you know dry right sometimes you know we are in a place where we have been in high expectation in the onset because we get the word we get the promise right we're so full of faith we're excited like yes lord i believe you i trust you and it's genuine and we do but then time happens you know and we can only imagine what abraham felt like being 75 being called from his family right being called you know from his household from his father's house from everything he knew from his relatives to go on a journey with god that he had no idea what it was going to look like then to be told that he would have a promised son through his wife Sarah who had been barren her whole life and so in that instance I think a lot of time what will we kind of where we fall short at is because we'll get the promise we'll get the word from God but a lot of times we may not sit with God to understand his timing I know for me anyway it's been many a times where the Lord gave me a promise right and I didn't necessarily sit with him to seek him. Okay, well, what's the timing of this? How do I prepare for this? You know, what season will this be? How will I know that it's happening, right? These are things we should do even when God give us a word. It, God, when he give us a word, He that's an invitation for us to come to him. And so I want to start there because I think when we're not taught properly, because I didn't know that. I had not heard that. No one taught me that. That even when God gives you his promise, whether he speaks it directly to you, give it to you through the word, give it to you through a person, that's an invitation. 
that is an invitation that he wants you to come and seek him for more, right? He wants you to come and seek him. That's why it tells us in Matthew 6, 33, to seek ye the kingdom first and all this righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. That is an invitation for is for us to pursue him to say, okay, Lord, give me more, elaborate on this. Lord, what is this? What is the time frame of this? What is the timing? How will I know this is going to happen? Give me a sign. You know, this is, this is an invitation. And when we don't understand that, it's easy to, because we get excited. At least I know I do. The Lord, the Lord gave me a word, a promise, and it's something that resonates. It's something I already desire in my heart. I am excited. I'm ecstatic. And I'm just like full of joy, right? I'm just overjoyed. And I'm just like in, in this, this place of just, you know, um, just like a honeymoon phase, if you will. Like, so I'm just so like, it just happy and in expectation to see this thing that the Lord has promised me. But I don't really, I, when I don't sit with God and get a time frame, then that's where I can end up with disappointment because now I'll put my own time frame on it. And then I have an expectation. And when it does not come in that time frame that I put on it, then now I'm going back and now I'm thinking like God didn't, that, that God is not a promise keeper, that God did not say it or that, you know, um, some kind of way, you know, that maybe I just missed it or whatever the case may be, because I didn't really seek God and, and I didn't lean into that invitation for more, right, to go and to spend more time with him to get to get more clarity, to get more information regarding this promise. And so we have to understand that with every word, it is our responsibility to steward it, but it's also our responsibility to seek God for the, the more instructions or more answers or more clarity, right? And when we don't do that, then that gives the enemy opportunity to bring counterfeit opportunities. The one thing that I realized that I fall short at in my um, journey is the right thing at the wrong time right because even that was one of the temptations that the enemy did with Jesus in the um when he was being tempted in the wilderness he wanted Jesus to use his power outside of time he said if you are the if you are the son of God then and you turn these these stones into bread that it was not his hour yet, right? It wasn't his moment to show the to show his divinity. It wasn't his moment to to show his power, right? And he knew that, and that's why he just responded with the word. And sometimes when we don't know the timing of a thing, we will allow our own lustful desires or our own expectations to cause us to get out of time, or the enemy will pick up on we have this desire we have this thing we're believing for and he will lead us into temptation to tempt us to get outside of time and i know i've told my testimony before in different um, episodes and different seasons of how i almost bought a house on how i almost got married on how you know like you know there are things that i attempted and started that I'm like, Lord, you say it, right? I'm like, Lord, I know I heard you. Lord, you say it. But then when I look back, it's like, oh, wow, I had the right thing. God did say, but it was at the wrong time. So I feel like a lot of us have grown weary, right? A lot of us have gotten to a place where we have given up because we have been out of time, right? We, we thought that other guy was the one. We thought that other woman was the one. We thought that other job opportunity was it. We thought the other house was going, you know, was it. We thought, you know, because we have not gotten to the place where we totally are submitted and surrendered to the father that we're not willing to move on anything without seeking him first. And it is so important that we seek him first. We got to seek him first especially regarding anything right and even especially those things that he has spoken to us specifically there there's things that come with instructions there are things that come you know with um you know certain levels of maturation right there's things that come with certain you know preparation and so we have to know like that that we we, we really want to be synchronized with god with what he's doing and so i know for me i tend to get weary because i feel like i've tried it before I've done that already, you know, even with believing for certain things, it's like, I feel like I don't even want to believe again because I've already believed for that thing and it, it did, and I got disappointed. It did not come to pass. It fell through, right? And I had my hope up. I had my faith up. I acted in faith. I did all of these things and it just didn't happen. And now I'm to a place where I'm weary and see, now is the season. And we and I'm saying this and I hope it's making sense and I hope somebody is catching this. And I have to say it how I'm saying it because it's how the Lord is leading me. The reason why it didn't work in those last seasons because it wasn't the time sister bro brother it didn't work in those seasons because it wasn't the time you wasn't off 
you heard God right. What he spoke to you, 